Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're looking at a, another can of beer from the 21st Amendment Brewery in San Francisco, California. It is a can of their Bitter American. Uh, they refer to it as their um, extra, pale, uh, extra Pale Ale with a bold malt and hop characters session ale. 4.4% ABV, 42 IBUs. One thing what I really like, on the website it gives you like pretty much the entire recipe. So if I like this, I can brew it. <laughs> I'll just, so I'll just tell you what, what's in this. So the, the malt bill, it, it even tells you it's Simpsons malt, so it's British malt. Uh, it's Simpsons Golden Promise, uh, the Munich and Crystal. Similar to kind of thing, what I, when I brew a, a pale ale, I use those kind of things. And it's, um, it's hopped in, the, the kettle hops uh, Warrior and Cascade. Uh, probably Warrior, Warrior earlier on and then Cascade for your kind of flavour and aroma and then it's dry hops with Simcoe and Centennial which is really interesting I mean they're not clearly not looking for any of the uh, Centennial or Simcoe um, characteristics in the flavour or bitterness of the beer they just wanted the, those aromas which I find fas fascinating really especially Simcoe has got such a unique flavour anyway so don't need a bottle opener it's a can yeah I've been waiting to try this for ages and ages a friend recently brought me this can back from um, America. It's probably not the freshest can in the world ever, but I'm very happy to be trying it. And there's been a lot of talk about kind of session ales at the moment, so I, mean, I thought it'd be a very suitable one to try. Uh, I'm getting a really nice, um, clear, radiant amber colour. Orange, virgin on amber. I say it's more amber. The head, slightly off white. Yeah, off-white with that slightly orange hue to it. Um, nice, tight, uh, foamy head. Anyway, let's have a sniff. Mm, lovely. It does remind me of a lot of kind of modern English session ales, like what I might get the uh, one of my local breweries, Ilkley, who were very much into this kind of beer. That smells amazing. Oh, wow. You can definitely smell that Simcoe, that, that kind of weird, musty... I, from Simcoe I get um, raspberry coolie or like a synthetic strawberry kind of flavour and aroma but that's definitely there and it's backed up with um, quite a lot of quite juicy, zesty, quite fleshy orange and then get a bit more, maybe a bit of lime juice as well but it's all about uh, quite rich um, juicy citrus it's getting my um, saliva glands working over, over time but then that little something else, what um, Simcoe adds, it reminds me of what, yeah, like, like raspberry yogurt. Odd, it's odd, but I love it. It's, I've, I've been converted to Simcoe recently, and I think this is an interesting example. Anyway, cheers. If this is nice, I'm gonna brew this. <laughs> I've got some Sim, I've got some Simcoe. Wow. Oh, I can see what all the hype's about now. I'm sure if this is if this was, this was a um, uh, newer can, I'd have a bit, bit more of a kind of a certainty of hop profile. But for me, it's just got a load of hop flavour. Not much bitterness. Oh, what did it say? Bitterness. Forty-two IBUs. Yeah, it's not bitter at all. Initially, peachy, papaya. Yeah, it's all about the soft stone, um, pale stone fruit, apricot. Um, there's a something that reminds me. It was Terry Kay actually who um, mentioned this recently, and, I, and it's just come to me. Ice cream wafers. It's like you're making an ice cream sandwich. Those kind of pale vanilla wafers. Yeah, I'll get that down. At the back end, I'm getting a slightly earthy, come floral bitterness, which is, I'd say, quite grapefruit, quite a muted grapefruit, though. Yeah, it's, it's when I take a swig and I breathe it in and I'm tasting it, it's that, it's really odd. It's kind of raspberry from the Simcoe, and then this weird um, thing that I can't describe of anything but ice cream wafers. 
that is fantastic. And it's uh, as I was saying earlier, there's been a lot of talk recently about um, session ales in America. This is a fantastic example of a session ale. Uh, and this is the kind of beer that, I, I, along with something like um, Stone's um, um, Levitation Ale, which I think is incredible, it's got packed full of flavour, it's got a decent amount of bitterness as that beer, obviously it's from Stone, And um, but it's a low ABV, and you don't have to make these massive IPAs at like 9% every time to, to get a load of hop flavour. For me, I like hoppy beers, what I've got. Hop flavour and aroma over crushing bitterness, and for me that's really, really, really nice. So the question for you this time: comment, comment below. What defines a really good session ale for you? Uh, for me, as I said, I like hop flavour, like juicy, uh, but sometimes quite soft hop flavours. Like you're getting something like this, nice balanced backbone. That's what it's all around for me. Give me some names. Give me some qualities of kind of session ales. That you uh, that you like, so yeah. Please comment and subscribe. Uh, anyway, so that is a can of bitter American session ale from the Twenty First Amendment Brewery in San Francisco, California. Four point four percent ABV. Wow, it hasn't let me down, is that? That's really hitting that sweet spot. Anyway, I'm Rob from Pobzine.com. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.